In this video, we're going to look at a 24 hour filtration schedule for a variable speed pump, two inch pipes, approximately 25 feet of head resistance, six and a half PSI on the filter when we're running at 3200, which will be the maximum RPM. Uh, we're going to use just over eight kilowatts of power per day, which should equal about a dollar five based on 13 cents per kilowatt hour, the national average. This filtration schedule is going to result in 62,000, almost 63,000 gallons of filtered water every day for a buck oh five. That sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be running at 1,200, 2,500, and 3,200. So there we are. We're already running at 1,200. Again, this is 2 inch suction, 2 inch return. There we are, 29 gallons per minute. Power consumption, top right, 78 watts. I've got the numbers conservatively at 80 watts for this calculation. This is a small amount of variance in electrical consumption. Alright, check out speed 2, 2500. Sixty one gallons per minute. Top right corner, five hundred and nineteen watts. We've got it at five hundred and twenty. All right, now let's go ahead and check out that high speed or higher speed, not maximum speed, but thirty two hundred. Take a look at this filter pressure here. I'm reading that at about six and a half. Seventy six gallons per minute. Just over one kilowatts. That's one thousand sixty watts of power consumption. And as you can see up here on the board, for the 1200 RPM, 29 gallons per minute, 15 hours per day results in 26,100 gallons of filtered water, 1.2 kilowatts of power consumed. At the higher speeds, 61 gallons per minute at 2500 RPM, after five hours, that's 18,300, 2.6 kilowatts power, view, power used, and 3200, 76 gallons per minute for four hours, 18,240. 4.24 kilowatts of power. 62,640 gallons filtered total. Here's the power calculation here. Resulting in 8.04 8 kilowatt hours times 13 cents per kilowatt hour, which is the nationwide average. A buck oh five per day. 31.50 approximately per month, depending on how many days in the month. But this gives you a good idea what you're looking at here. And again, this was for a two inch pipe configuration. And I'm going to go ahead and access the timers menu, hit the right button. There we go. So timer one, I want to make a change. So I press plus. It's asking me if I want to change the name. I don't care about the name. Timer one is fine for me, but I do want to change this RPM to 1200 RPM. Press the right button to proceed. Now I want to set my time for this and I want my time for this 1200 RPM schedule to begin at 5 a.m. and then I want it to run until 1 p.m. press the right arrow button to proceed. Seven days a week is what I'm looking for, so right arrow button again. That is timer one. Next, I want to change timer two, so I press the plus button again. Again, it's asking me about the name, which I don't care about. And now I'm going to change that 1250 RPM because I want timer two 
to be much higher. I want it to run for an hour like this, and I'm going to run it at 3200 RPM here. I could go with 3450, that's the maximum, but dialing back just a small amount on your RPM will only affect the it will only affect the amount of flow by a small amount, but it will reduce the amount of power that you're consuming by a considerable amount, so it's worthwhile dialing back just a little bit. And as I mentioned, I want that to run from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m., so just for one hour there. p.m. Perfect. Seven days a week again is exactly what I want. Proceeding on to timer three. Timer three, and don't mind the name, but I want again back down to 1200 RPM. So the idea here is that I just kind of broke up this long period of time where I'm running at 1200 RPM with an hour in the middle that has a much higher RPM so that I can, you know, get some better flow rate for, for a little bit there, and I'm sure that's going to help the pool out. Two PM. And this time I'm going to go until 9 p.m. There we go. Seven days a week is what I'm looking for, and that's timer three set. Proceeding along to timer four, I want to add in a timer four. Again, I don't care about the name, but once again, I'm going to run this up to 3200 RPM for an hour. This is the dynamic part of the schedule that I was talking about. We're not just going, you know, a few hours of this, a few hours of that. We're kind of sprinkling it in a little bit, faster speeds with slower speeds. And so what we want to do here went the wrong way there. Nine PM. And again, we're just going for one hour here. 10 p.m. There we go. Again, seven days a week. So that's now timer four. Timer five. I don't mind the name. And we're going to set 2,500 RPM here. from 10 p.m., but we're going to go all the way to 3 a.m. There we go. Good long stretch there. Seven days per week, correct? Now we're going to set one more timer here. Timer six. I don't mind the name at all. And once again, we're going to crank it up to 3200 RPM. There we go, 3200 RPM. And I want to run that from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. When I'm running at higher speeds there, it uses a lot of power. By doing this in the middle of the night, this is when my power is the cheapest. And if you have variable rates, you are probably in a similar situation. Again, I want that for seven days a week. And there we go. I don't want to, there's more options here. I could do timer seven, timer eight, but I don't want them. So I'm going to press menu to exit. We've made a change. So this is very important. Press the plus button. The pump stops. It saves new programming. And that's it. We have now made a dynamic 24 hour program for this pump. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
and you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.